Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Okay, so today, this reading is going to be a for whoever it's meant to be for read, okay? Please be your own leader of discernment while watching this general reading. Not everything is going to resonate with you, and that is okay. Please pick up what does resonate with you and drop the rest for someone else to appreciate. All right, so you guys could be seeing a lot of threes. You guys could be seeing three, three, three. Um, you guys could be seeing a lot of ones. You guys could be seeing one, one, one. You could be seeing two, two, two a lot as well. Or you could be seeing the numbers one, two, three. Whoever I'm speaking to, you are in perfect alignment and you are about to receive something really fucking positive in your life. There is a huge shift that is occurring right now that we and many other readers have been picking up. You could be feeling this shift as well. Okay. There's something here about some of you could be feeling anxious about this shift. But you need to you need to transmute that anxious feeling into excitement okay something here is definitely something here about like the energy of new newness is here and it's beautiful okay so i just lit my palo santo twice all right I also feel like there's like someone here could be getting a second chance at something here. Maybe if there was something here that you once tried to attempt in the past and it wasn't successful, maybe if you try at it again this time, it might be successful. Someone here, some of you might get a win. Maybe something wasn't the right time in the past and now it is. Also, um, earlier today, I just kept getting the tower card for, um, for a lot of, a lot of readings I was doing. So something here is definitely going to be coming out of nowhere or something is hitting someone hard. Okay. Um, let's find out what this is. The new moon was last night, so there could have been people um, trying to send you negative energy, okay, or, you know, whipping up their spells. Some of you could have woken up with, like, swollen eyes or, yeah, confirmation. Some of you could have woken up with swollen eyes or something like that. Just know that whatever this person was trying to do, it's not going to be successful. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What do they need to hear at this time? Okay, what do they need to hear at this time? Listen, this reading has to be pretty short, okay? Yeah, there's something here about a hidden enemy. For whoever I'm speaking to, a hidden enemy of yours is about to be revealed, all right? For some of you, this this hidden enemy has already been revealed in your dreams, but this person's also going to be, like, revealed to other people. Like, this person will be exposed to other people that may have doubted that they were an enemy to you or something like that. Yeah, there, it's going to bring about some sort of major change for y'all. Something definitely here is ending with this 8th house. This is um, Scorpio. So there's some sort of ending that's bringing about a new beginning here. Something here could be really overwhelming. Like someone someone who... Whatever this great shift is or this big shift is, um, it's not going to be good for another person. Okay, but I feel like it's going to be very positive for you. We have Saturn here if you're on the right side of the wheel okay we got sad in here there's something here about a major lesson or a karmic lesson that you have learned and you should be very fucking proud of yourself okay be proud of yourself you learned a gosh dang karmic lesson baby you learned a karmic lesson okay this is beautiful child there's no limits on you you are the limits a possibility are endless for you Okay, you're a, a, a limitless being, okay? We got North Node. Whoever I'm speaking to, you are in your North Node. Congratulations, whoever I'm speaking to right now. You're about to get some sort of success here. Something beautiful is definitely coming through. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. I also feel like whatever this blessing or this new shift is that's of a positive nature, this might even make you feel overwhelmed with happiness, okay? You might, like, you might cry of happiness, okay? I know I've picked up this message before, but I feel like this is coming very soon for somebody, okay? 
And, and there's something here about your faith that played a very big role in this. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is going on here? What zodiac signs are involved in this situation? What zodiac signs are involved, Spirit? We got Leo. You guys, whoever I'm speaking to, you could be a Leo or you could have Leo somewhere in your chart. You're being asked to step into some sort of leadership position here. Or just step into being a leader of your own life. All right. There's something here about you taking action when it comes to the things that you want to create for yourself or what you want to see in your life. Um, not just like a month from now, but from years from now. Uh, right. But don't get too hung up on the future either. Whoever I'm speaking to, you're truly being guided to um, just trust what you're intuitively getting and in the moment and be obedient to what your intuition is telling you because this is crazy that i'm saying this because i was literally talking to my friend or uh let me just yeah my friend acquaintance i don't know um this person's also a leo and um they were telling me like oh what are your plans or asking me like what are your plans for like uh for this year da 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 and I, I simply just told them, like, I gave up on trying to, like, plan stuff. Because every time I try to plan something, it always ends up being something else. <laughs> but it still ends up being, like, what I want to manifest, if that makes sense. Um, and then this person said, he's like, yeah, I, I heard that angels laugh at us when we try to make our own plans. Something like that. Okay, whoever I'm speaking to. You're being asked to just go with the flow. Whoever I'm speaking to, manifest what you want to come towards you or that you want to materialize in this 3D world, but don't don't um don't hold on to it so tightly. Just send out the order and allow your ancestors, your angels, your spirit team, God to do what he's got to do. Okay? And all you have to do is follow your inner wisdom and what you're being told, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. Yeah, because I learned a long time ago, just, I learned a long time ago that I am not in control. The quicker you learn that and you surrender, the happier and more peaceful your life is going to be. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me what's going on? What else do they need to hear? I keep picking up something about a home, something about someone's house. We got Scorpio. Someone here could be a Scorpio or they could have Scorpio somewhere in their chart. All right. Yeah, there's something here. There's some sort of secrets that are going to be coming out or um, there's going to be some sort of powerful ending that needs to happen or something like that. We got 808. You guys could be seeing the angel number 808. All right, we got Libra. Someone here could be a Libra or they could have Libra somewhere in their chart. Or there's something here about a relationship. Okay, we got willpower. Someone here could be an, uh, an Aries or they could have Aries somewhere in their chart. Someone wants to partner up with you. Maybe there's someone here trying to find courage to do this. I don't know, child. Maybe they didn't tell you everything. Or there's, some, there's something that they need to tell you that needs to be told. We got Aquarius. Maybe someone wants to come in and heal something with you. You could have Aquarius anywhere in your chart. Or you could be dealing with someone who is an Aquarius. Tell me more, spirit. What's going on? Yeah. We got Virgo. Someone here could be a Virgo or they could have Virgo somewhere in their chart. All right. One more spirit. Thank you. We have Gemini. I could be speaking to a Gemini. You could have Gemini somewhere in your chart or you're dealing with one. There's definitely some sort of new information that is going to be coming to you and it could be coming in, coming to you in the form of a download. But it don't have to be. My music just turned off like on its own. It could be... It could be talking about someone here could be a Taurus or they could have Taurus somewhere in their chart. This information could be um, regarding some sort of resources. Oh, Jesus. Some sort of resources. Someone wants me to shut the fuck up. Okay. <clears throat> this could be talking about some sort of resources here. 
or some sort of information like this could be this information could be coming from another person like another human breathing being or this could be coming from like a download some of you need to drink a lot of water right now some of you really need to go on a water fast or eat lightly for the next three days okay because there is something here like your your spirit team really wants to communicate something to you they may want you to disconnect with electronics or devices or from social media the internet for a little bit because i feel like this is a big sign right here whoever i'm speaking to you could be 35 years old 38 53 what the hell going on child what the this is another thing my technology has been acting wild. I don't know about y'all, but this could be a confirmation for some of you. Um, the last couple of days, the last like five days, it's been taking forever for me to upload videos onto YouTube. Um, I'm chopping it up to like my, the Wi-Fi that I use here. It's crap because there's like a lot of people that are connected to the Wi-Fi, so it probably drags it down, and, and then it doesn't help that I'm trying to upload an hour-long video, right? Um, but it took, like, that Sagittarius read, it took literally almost two days to upload. Like, like I had to delete it because it, it, it gave me an error, and then I had to, like, upload it again. It was just, child, you don't even know. Let me see what the hell going on. So there's something here about interference for sure, okay? I'm also getting like, someone's gonna feel like the whole world is gonna stop when it comes to like you finding out some sort of secret. I don't know why. Let's find out. <laughs> okay? I also feel like for a lot of you, someone here is attacking your health. So if someone was doing some sort of like voodoo, hoodoo, magic, witchcraft, Bruhedia, whatever it's called. Um, you doing like a water fast for a little bit um, might be very beneficial and will release anything that could have been sent to you or that someone was trying to send to attach to you um, or free up any blockages that someone has been trying to put in front of you, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on here? Um, someone's name could be John. Okay, Brittany, Elizabeth, Miriam, or, or Mary, Mary, Marie, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? Okay, so we have St. Clair here. Focus, clarity, and cleansing. That's what you're being asked to do at this time. For some of you, you guys could work with St. Clair if that's something that you feel comfortable doing. If not, okay, just pray. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, and take some take a spiritual bath for show. I suggest you guys cleanse and mop your area, your home. We have practice a regular meditation routine. So this is what you guys are being asked to do at this time because you are going to receive an important message here soon. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else do they need to hear? And someone here could be trying to prevent you from doing so by um, putting a lot of distractions into your pathway. Okay, we have spiritually cleanse your home. Someone here could have sent something to your home, child. Okay, someone could have sent something to my home. We gotta clean this bitch up. Holy Spirit, holy angels, what else, what else is going on? What do they need to hear? We have block them physically and energetically. So you're being asked to block some people around you, okay, that you've been getting a lot of red flags from or your intuition has been guiding you to do this, then... You might need to obey what you're being um, intuitively guided to do at this time for your for your betterment. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, or you need to continue to keep those who are blocked, blocked. What else do they need here at this time? Spirit. We have abstain from sacred energy exchange. All right. So if there's someone here that wants to get sexy time with you, they want to get a little sexual healing sexual okay say no all right abstain from sexual exchange at this time so that you can have a clear mind we have adam and eve it says light for uh calling love back favor in love and attraction so whoever i'm speaking to you guys um 
the chances for a new a new person to enter your life that's truly someone you can trust and love it's very high at this time some of y'all need to call upon jesus okay for protection against um demonic attacks tell me more we have cleanse your your children and pets that's another thing you're being asked to do because someone here could have even been that petty tell me more yeah, and then Jesus came out again. Yes. Pray. Some of y'all need to pray. To whoever you believe in. Okay? It says, your magic is working. Prayers have been received. So whoever I'm speaking to, your prayers have been received. They have been heard. Okay? I'm also, with this Adam and Eve out here, there's something here about, like, um, th there's an element of temptation that could be arising in your situation just be on that uh, the lookout for that Let's see what else holy spirit holy angels what's going on what do they need to her what do they need to her it's the age of aquarius age of aquarius aquarius we got the sun here do, 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 do. something about the month of may could be very significant for some of you so the sun is going to come out tomorrow something beautiful is coming around the corner for y'all or is it just around the corner for you okay you could be shining very bright jesus christ these are like the best cards in tarot we have the sun and the star that just came out together some of y'all is about to be put under the spotlight for something here or someone sees you like a shining fucking star someone feels like you're very you're very healing to them someone gets a really warm feeling from you i don't know child something like this is going on or i could be talking about a leo and an aquarius okay you could be a leo and an aquarius or there's a leo aquarius couple holy spirit holy angels can you tell me more what else is going on Yeah, there's a cycle here that is going to be ending and a new one is beginning. You're about to get into a new cycle and this new cycle is going to be full of happiness and it's because of your healing and you're going to continue to heal as well. I'm also getting like you have reached a level of some sort of mastery here to the point where it's like not only are you 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 have gone you have grown to the point where you can feel comfortable shining but confirmation but you can also you are also ready to help others shine and inspire others to shine as well okay teach them how to heal themselves okay whoever i'm speaking to it's time to do this the devil really don't want you to do this but it it's not up to him okay and once again something about temptation I there's a there's an element of temptation here temptation of the world or of worldly things tell me more what the heck is going on or there's something here about like someone here could be wanting to come in and impose limits on you that come from like what society or the world puts limits on or something i don't know something like that someone wants to put limits on you child maybe they want to do that by like using societal rules or norms or whatever the heck this could be holy spirit holy angels what do they need to hear at this time okay so transformation there's definitely an ending coming through all right you guys could be seeing the number 13 13 a lot tell me more yeah whoever i'm speaking to i could be i could speaking to i could be speaking to an empress lord or i could be speaking to someone who's very magnetic or attractive at this time okay there's a lot of threes out here already we got throat chakra there's something here about honest communication that be could that could be coming in we have fulfillment of wishes number nine so you got fulfillment of wishes coming in there's definitely some sort of communication that's coming in for you and whatever this communication is it's going to bring a lot of happiness to you i keep getting something about archangel raphael and archangel gabriel they could be um actively working behind the scenes for you we have chakral chakra whatever you desire desires you okay I'm also getting like someone here you really needs to go after what they truly desire someone here could be 27 years old or you could be born in 1972 okay 
I also feel like there's somebody here that really wants to be with you romantically and they they they're going after what they desire and what they desire is you this could be somebody from your past that's coming in somebody sees you as someone who's very abundant or i feel like this relationship is going to lead to a lot of abundance okay i don't know we got this abundance card it says i am a limitless being and i can manifest whatever i desire in this physical reality but something requires you to surrender i can release my need to control and once you release your need to control this is when this material and spiritual prosperity comes in and that's when it's going to bring a tower or a shock to you or a tower or a shock to someone else this maybe you're going to have to let go of a lot of people we got emotional withdrawal maybe you could be indecisive of whether you should do this or not okay maybe you feel like you don't want to take a leap of faith because you feel like you're going to fail at something child it don't matter something gonna something's gonna end regardless <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying it says i'm learning that endings are merely new beginnings okay i'm also getting there somebody here who has been end who ended a relationship and now maybe in the past someone here was indecisive about what they wanted to do or what they truly desired and they're going to go after it anyways even if it means that they're they're going to experience some sort of obstacles and challenges temporarily to get their ultimate happiness because someone here is truly in regret about how they treated you or what happened when you guys were in a loving relationship child <sighs> i don't know who this is for child but i hope it's not for me <laughs> i don't know what this is for i guess this is a love reading Ugh. holy spirit holy angels what's going on here what do they need to hear what time is it what do they need to hear spirit because lord have mercy Mm. yeah the number 35 keeps coming out someone here could be 39 years old someone here could be born in 1993 someone here could be born in 1995 someone here could be born on the second of the month or the 13th of a month holy spirit holy angels what's going on what do they need to hear at this time okay someone someone desires you like i was saying someone here really does desire you and they're gonna take the action to come in and and pursue you offer you something we have i know you didn't trust me or, blah, it says i know you don't trust me anymore that hurts me the most so someone knows that you don't trust their ass i don't know i don't know your situation <laughs> i don't know your situation but this person does know that you don't trust them we have um please baby wait for me this could have been someone who was telling you in the past to wait for them wait for what is my question but yeah we have you cheated someone here could have either somebody here could have someone here could have cheated on you in the past okay and if it wasn't that or maybe you cheated on this person in the past okay or um what was i gonna say maybe someone thought that you cheated on them maybe someone was told that you cheated on them i don't know it could be one of those situations someone here is lonely though someone here is lonely without you okay they're lonely these hoes ain't loyal maybe they they got with a bunch of other let me be quiet someone here could have i don't know they can't find another person like you basically we gotta let it go maybe you might tell this person to let it go okay or they let you go and all they got was loneliness maybe they thought they were gonna find something better but they didn't um this person wanted you to chase them we have i want you to chase me or maybe you want this person to chase you flip over needs to go we have can you forgive me somebody wants to know if you can forgive them for what happened here they want to transform a situation between y'all they want to come in with honest communication it's up to you child maybe this is something that you were trying to manifest way 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 back when and now it's coming into fruition now and it's up to you what choice you want to make okay we have you are it says you are dead to me i don't want to be friends so i don't know maybe i can't maybe maybe some of you feel like this towards this person but i don't know communication is key we have you better come to me correct or don't come at all so maybe you guys feel like this for some of you, you guys could be still a little salty a little angry about this person and what they did i don't blame you okay i don't blame you but we all have free will we have if i told you the truth you wouldn't look at me the same secrets so there are some secrets someone's gonna come in and tell you they're gonna they're mustering up the courage they're mustering up 
their whatever ounce of bravery that they have in their bones to come in and tell you the truth about some sort of secret that they have been hiding from you this also could be a mother figure that's going to come in and tell you a secret because we do have the um empress out here okay this could be a mother figure or this person's coming in and telling you you could be a mother all right or you just someone sees your worth now, your value, and they want to treat you like such, like an empress, okay? An empress could be a man or a woman. Flip it, we need to go, child. But I highly, I really think this is a divine feminine, okay? Let me be, let me keep it real. Um, it says, if I called you, would you answer? Someone wants to know if they called you, would you pick up? I don't know. So this secret could, I don't want, what could this secret be? I'm scared. Should I even tap into this? <sighs> Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is this secret? What is this secret? <laughs> okay, listen. Some of y'all, this could be an ex that you real that you could even see. Like you peeped the fact that they kept dating the same person that almost looked like you. Or someone here has a type. Someone here kind of tried to date someone that looked like you. It's because they can't get over you. <laughs> what the hell the secret though, child? Maybe there's somebody here they were dating and they found out that they wanted to be you. I don't know. What is this? We've been picking that up though. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. What's the bottom of the deck? Okay, so there's someone okay, for some of you, I'm telling you Okay, this could someone's mama is weird. We keep picking this up. This could be your person's mother or this could be your mother or a combination of both. Whatever it is, somebody's mother didn't want it in, in a relationship to end. And maybe someone found out the secret that this there was like an overprotective mother that didn't want their son to be with you or didn't want your their daughter to be with you. Flip it where it needs to go. We have mother superiority complex, free pass to act abhorrent due to female um privilege this could be an actual like mother or a baby mama flip it where it needs to go though but somebody here um was hiding some sort of secret about what they did maybe they tried to pretend to be you in order to say something nasty to end a relationship okay or a mother here could have said that somebody here had um i don't even know if i'm allowed to put this on here um let me just do it like this child stuff on their laptop I don't know maybe someone lied about this or maybe you're gonna find out that someone's into child stuff maybe that's the secret and you're not gonna look at them the same i don't blame you it says uh, it says somebody call 911 on this psycho oh, okay or on this sicko i don't i don't know but then we have munch munch hazard i can't even say this munch hasn't has in syndrome Someone here could be faking for sympathy. Maybe someone here was faking that someone here did something to a child or was watching child stuff to have sympathy. So people could have sympathy for them. I don't know. This situation feels messy, whatever it is. And it doesn't feel like I could understand why the secret is weird. Um, or doesn't want to be. <laughs> Let me just keep going. This could be a karmic feminine that did this. She could have used this as blackmail to stop someone from coming to communicate a secret to you or communicate how they feel or to be with you. That's another thing that I'm getting. Maybe someone also was saying that you were an undercover hoe. Maybe someone was trying to say like, you're a slut, you're a hoe, da, 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 da. They listen to somebody else. We keep getting this energy. We have destination nowhere. It says lost aspirations, pipe dreams, blah, blah, blah. So there's also somebody here that has feel, that feels lost without you. All right. Maybe when they're around you, they felt very hopeful. Somebody's with someone that um is using them. 
This is a karmic feminine that's using a masculine. This is the dynamic that I feel like is going on, but it, it could be a different dynamic as well, okay? But there's there's somebody here that benefits from someone not being with you, okay? This could be for financial reasons, resources, whatever it is, okay? I'm also getting like someone here, someone here could have body dysmorphia or someone wants you to have body dysmorphia. Maybe that's what the secret is. What is going on? The secret also could be that somebody here was, um... <sighs> Someone was obsessively trying to do something to you this could have been a whole family that was doing this another family plan secret family someone here could have a secret family or a family here has a secret that you're going to find out about or your or your person found out a secret about their own family like that they're whatever it is okay that they were against them the whole time or they weren't on their team Someone thought that they were real smart, or there's something here about a know-it-all. Okay. <sighs> okay. Let me get out of here. I don't know. I'm scared. So, I don't know. Or someone was pretending to be someone else in order for someone to get caught up in some sort of crime. You might find that out, too. This could be something that happened to you or happened to someone else. But let's get out the tarot. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what the hell is going on? God damn. Oh, I gotta hurry up. I gotta go. What else they need to hear, spirit? Yeah. Something here was not an even give and take. That's why something had to end. Or something no longer serves you. That's why it's ending. Or that's why it's being pushed out of your life. So if you guys are experiencing a lot of things that are ending or some sort of um, whatever, it's for your best interest, okay? There's something here about needing to reflect Okay, do some self-reflecting on what next action that you need to take because it's going to lead you to some sort of wish fulfillment here, okay? I could be speaking to a Virgo, don't have to be, all right? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else do they need to hear? Yeah, like I said, the tower card. There's some sort of tower moment happening here. Or something here, you're going to get some sort of um, epiphany. Tell me more. Something's going to come to you at a shock or there's going to be a shock about a, 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 a mother figure, okay, causing confusion or there's some sort of downfall of some sort of illusion or lies that were told about an individual, okay, someone, it's coming at someone, at, it's coming to someone at a shock, okay, this is something that's divinely guided to happen as well or divinely orchestrated, I mean, tell me more, yeah, someone has a new perspective here, I'm also getting someone's now understanding why they were stuck, Someone here is now understanding why why something happened, okay? Or this is something that is going to be happening to you. You're going to be getting some much needed clarity here, okay? And it's going to help you make a decision. Cuz for whoever I'm speaking to, you might be indecisive about something. This could be you or someone else. But whatever it is, whatever gets cleared up, you're it's going to lead you to some sort of success or some sort of victory, okay? Someone here could have been wanting you to feel afraid of something. Or to be guarded from doing something, but it wasn't. You're gonna find out if something here was just an illusion. Tell me more, spirit. Or this is what your person is realizing. Okay, this is also gonna bring some sort of heartbreak to someone because two lovers are gonna be coming together, or someone knows that they hurt you and you're someone that they truly loved. Okay, this also could be a soulmate for some of you. Yeah, there's some sort of magic here that could have been involved. Someone here could have been doing magic on someone's throat chakra in order for them to not communicate with you. All right. I'm also getting someone's manifesting you. They're manifesting a union with you. Okay. They're deciding to let something go or someone go. Um, or someone here feels burdened without you. They want to move to calmer waters and maybe you're that calmer water. Tell me more. Yeah. They want to have like everything with you. We got this ten of pentacles here. Someone want, ha wants to have like the, all the things and the stuffs. Okay. Someone knows that you're very abundant. 
Tell me more, spirit. What's going on? What else do you hear? Someone wants to come in and apologize for something that happened in the past. Yeah, someone sees that you're you're their wish fulfillment. Whoever I'm speaking to, this is gonna make you happy for some of y'all. Okay, we got the ten of cups here. Maybe someone here wants to come in and have a family with you, or maybe you already have a child with this person. Yeah, this is a king of cups. They could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but they don't have to be. Okay, but yeah, someone here wants to come in. They want to offer you a cup of love here. Okay, it's time for you to make a decision, baby. We got judgment here. You're going to have to make a decision when it comes to this person. Or this person wants to come in and have a second chance if this is someone you already know. For a lot of you, I think this is so. Yeah, someone here wants you to be their wife or something. We got the queen of pentacles. All right. Or someone sees you as someone who's very practical. Someone who's very reliable. Okay, someone who's good, who's good with finances. Maybe someone trusts you. Maybe they're dealing. Yeah, and then we got the king. We got a pair. We got the king and queen of pentacles. Somebody knows that you're, you're, I don't know. Someone respects the way you, you make moves. Maybe in the past they didn't, I don't know. Someone here was fucking petty. Tell me more. Yeah, they, something here is going to be exposed here. Or there's an expo, there's going to be something exposed about a couple here that was doing something weird with money. That's another thing that I'm getting. Or someone's realizing that someone didn't want, a couple here didn't want this person to be with you because they were going to lose out on finances. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Okay, but yeah, something here is definitely going to be exposed. I also feel like someone here does definitely love you, okay? They see you as their happiness. We have the sun and then we had the fucking star card that just flipped on that bitch, Okay. It's all about apologies. It's all about communication. Okay, this is what I'm getting from this reading. I don't know, chow. It's up to you. Forgiveness is key is what I'm getting. Someone wants to ask for forgiveness for holding on to a secret or keeping a secret from you. I gotta go. <laughs> to be continued. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so I asked, what's the secret? Then the moon card came out. So the secret's a secret. <laughs> Something has definitely been hidden from y'all, but I want to figure out more. I also feel like this secret was meant to protect you in some way. Okay, so I don't know. What's going on? What's, with this, what's up with the secret? What is the secret? Spirit? Whatever the secret is, someone, it's been burdening, it's been burtering, I can't talk. It's been, it's been a burden to someone to hold on to. So, um, someone's finally going to say something to you, okay? Or they're going to let something go because they want to move forward with someone. They want to have a, uh, this could be a cancer or a Pisces that you're dealing with or you're a cancer or a Pisces. Yeah. Someone here needs to overcome whatever this is so that they could have the Ten of Pentacles with someone. And so a new cycle can begin or a new cycle can end or an, an old cycle can end and something new can begin. Wow, we're literally at this like, this is a really vital time, okay? Yeah, there's something here that um, might be happening. Jesus. Something here about a marriage or something here about a married couple that could be in court that might end up going to prison for some of y'all. That's how I'm reading this. Or someone here is getting done with being in court with someone. Maybe this is like divorce court so that they can end up being single and they can be in a relationship with you. Flip it where it needs to go. But someone here definitely is um, feeling limited or they have been feeling limited and now they're no longer going to be li uh, limited to something here I'm also getting something about like this could also be representative of like a spiritual marriage or someone here who is trying to bind you to them You're being released. Okay, tell me more what else is going on or someone here is being released This is this has been a long time coming with this long road Okay here. There was definitely a false person up in this bitch that was holding on to your ass or holding on to your person for dear life. This could be someone's mama. This could be someone's sister. This could be someone's cousin. This could be someone's brother. This could be someone's ex-girlfriend. Whatever it is. who Or ex-boyfriend that was holding on to someone for dear life. Holy Spirit. Holy Angels. Who is this false person? This is someone that you could have only known for a very short amount of time. Who is this all? This person is a very karmic for some of you. This is a very karmic individual. Why does this keep happening? Do you guys hear this? This person don't want to be known. Whoever this whoever this karmic person is, they don't want to be known. 
This is someone here who could be someone who didn't want you to have hope or was sending you negative energy so that you could lose hope in a relationship here or in love in general or lose hope when it comes to you um, having faith in the divine. This could be a spiritual hater. This could be someone who only cares about materialism. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of an ox. This could be you or somebody else that you're dealing with. This could be the person that's karmic. Don't have to be though. Oh my lord. Someone doesn't... Um. Yeah, someone here could be a cancer that's a false person. Or I'm speaking to a cancer. Okay. And you're dealing with a false person. Or your person's a cancer. We have Aries. Someone here could be an Aries. You could be an Aries. Or this false person could be an Aries. Someone here, this false person could be a friend of yours, an acquaintance, or a co-worker, okay? Or there's a friend or an acquaintance or a co-worker that admires you, okay? Or there's a, this false person admires you, but they hate you, or that's the main reason why they don't they dislike you, because they know that someone admires you, or and they understand why the person admires you. Something like that could be going on. Someone wants like something to stop here. Maybe someone here keeps putting like um someone really wants to stop communication or stop a message from going out truly you and another person could have an age gap we have an age gap here okay let's get our big bird this since it wants to come out already holy spirit holy angels what's going on what do they need to hear at this time something about someone's brother could could have been someone that was involved in trying to stop a union here maybe someone's gonna find out that their brother was selfish or their bro like someone here could call them their friend a brother um and they're realizing how selfish how selfish their bro was bruh tell me more spirit <laughs> yeah there's something about a false marriage document that could be of significance okay or someone was saying that you were married so that they wouldn't come towards you we have so soul soulless being of an empty shell of a person someone's realizing that someone here is a soulless being they could be someone who's very dangerous we have um stolen money there's some sort of stolen money here i'm also getting for some of you your brother could have this is gross this is not for all y'all but somebody's brother could have put you could have married you on paper so they could steal your inheritance that's for some of you not all y'all i could be speaking to someone who is an earth sign or you're dealing with someone who is an earth sign tell me more spirit we have i regret telling people that you i brr, i regret not telling you that i was married so someone here didn't tell you that they were married okay we have exposed someone here is about to get exposed we have someone you know will be on the news for doing something bad and this is under money stolen money okay we have in a loveless relationship so there's someone here that was in a loveless relationship they met you you guys probably dated each other um this person didn't tell you, you guys were married or told them that you they were married or in a committed relationship with someone else they regret this we have the feds are watching so the feds are someone who has a position of power and authority is watching someone or is aware of some sort of false documents false marriage documents or a false couple doing something with documents something here is definitely going to be exposed here okay everybody who was involved is going to be getting exposed or whoever collaborated to doing to stealing something here from you or from another person they're all going to be exposed someone here could have broken into your home or tried to break into your home or break into your vessel okay someone here is trying to break through your protection we got fbi like this is this could be representative of the actual F fbi or this could just be representative of like the archangels your spirit team like powerful protectors in the spiritual realm or on top of it they are watching you they are protecting you someone here is going to get sentenced to five to ten years that's five to ten holy spirit holy angels can you tell me what else is going on someone here is getting booked i'm pretty sure that's what that word or that word that card said oh it's under here ah. someone here is getting booked someone here is about to get booked for doing something bad someone here is about to get in trouble someone here could be a sex addict this could be you or someone else Okay, we got two, two, two. You guys could be seeing that angel number a lot. Tell me more. What else do they need to hear? Whoever I'm speaking to, you could be psychic. Something about your toxic family. You need to know that spirit has your back. Okay. Yeah. From this toxic family, your toxic family could be nervous because they know something going down, or there's some sort of false documents that have been exposed. It says someone you blocked will try to reach out to you. So, like I said before, if someone's already blocked, keep them blocked. They're blocked for a reason remember that tell me more spirit 
Okay, we have coworker. There's something here about your coworker that helped collaborate in stealing some sort of money from you or finances or stealing energy in general. We have time for a diet change, so this keeps coming up. There's something here about changing someone's diet. There's something about eating more fruits and veggies and eating less dairy and meat and less sugar as well. There's some sort of fake friend that is definitely around you that's also nervous because they know they're being watched. They know they're about to get exposed. They know they were helping... Um, aid in doing something that was wrong to you with a toxic family or whoever this is a toxic community a toxic organization we have pride is in your way so there could be pride in your way or pride in someone else's way there could be pride in a co-worker's way or whoever was doing something bad tell me more spirit yeah there's something here about tax evasion so someone here could have evaded their taxes child Tell me more in order so in order for something to not be found out by the feds but it's already been found out someone's first middle or last name could start with an a this could be you or somebody else we have credit score 600 to 700 this could be you or someone else or someone here is upset because you still have um a good reputation and someone here still sees you in a, a favorable light some of you oh, i was about to say flavor so some of you got flavor and someone else is bland someone here is a thief okay someone is a thief and they're about to be exposed something here about unpaid child support could be of significance someone here feels guilty or someone here or a mother here feels guilty or for what they've done to you if this is a toxic mother or a karmic mother that you're dealing with this could be your karmic mother or your person's karmic mother place it where it needs to go but someone here feels guilty now or there's a uh, someone wants you to feel guilty they want to play the victim What's that card again that said Munch Munchausen, Munchausen syndrome? I don't know. Tell me more, spirit. This is someone that um, gets pity or gets like, a, they're addicted to being looked at as like someone who needs pity, right? Let me look this shit up before I start talking. It's a syndrome. It is like is it psycho oh my god. It's a psychological condition where someone pretends to be ill or deliberately produces symptoms of illness in themselves. Their main intention is to assume the sick role so that people care for them and they are the center of attention. So somebody's karmic mother could feel like they oh shit. Maybe someone's pretending to be sick so they can get out of something or so that you you could feel guilty and I don't know someone's trying to be a manipulator someone's trying to manipulate something we have planning to get you arrested so someone here is planning to get you arrested tell me more spirit what's going on we have coming in to use you so someone here is coming in to use you so just be aware of that this could be a fake friend for some of you this could be your sister that's coming in to use you once again someone's trying to get into your fucking house for why i don't know maybe there's a document they need of yours not sure maybe someone wants to place some sort of cursed item in your home whatever it is do not allow someone in your house okay or or maybe there was a, a house or a property left to you and they're they've been trying to break into it for some reason child i don't know why do we have a fake friend who is this fake friend child this fake friend could be at a distance from you, or maybe you need to put distance between you and this fake friend. Maybe you already have. Someone here, this fake friend could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a rooster, or you do. Tell me more. What else is going on? We got false flame. Okay, so for some of you, this fake friend could be connected to a false flame, or this fake friend is a false flame. Maybe this false flame tried to act like they really cared about you, like a friend. We got twin flame. For some of you, you got a twin flame here. I'm also getting there could have been a, a fake friend trying to get you to not be with your twin flame. Tell me more, spirit. This could have been, um, yeah. We got Aries again. Someone here could have Aries somewhere in their chart. Someone here could have Cancer somewhere in their chart. Or there's two people, right? Someone, your someone's twin flame has Aries or Cancer in their chart, and or someone's false flame has Aries or Cancer in their chart, or one or the other. Someone here could be a Virgo. Your twin flame could have Virgo somewhere in their chart, or they could have, um, or your false flame could have Virgo somewhere in their chart. Flip it where it needs to go. You guys would be you. You guys are your own leader of discernment. You guys would know more about your life and about these people that you interacted with more than me. Okay, so trust yourself. I am just the messenger. I'm just the messenger. I am not God. Holy Spirit, holy angels, what else do they need to hear regarding this situation? So somebody's sister getting caught up. 
they they might end up being on the news for doing something bad when it comes to stealing finances either either from you or someone else okay for sure tell me more what else is about this sister that we need to know about yeah, there's a secret that your sister's holding on to or someone's sister is. It's going to be getting exposed. I'm also getting like someone's sister here could have been using some sort of um, dark magic in order to do something to you. Or this sister is getting exposed for doing dark magic on you. They were trying to do this so that so some sort of man could make the wrong decision or be indecisive about you. But now this man is going to have some sort of tower moment or they recently had some sort of tower moment or epiphany when it comes to something about their sister. Maybe this is some this is your person's own sister. Maybe they're realizing she was she's been playing or dabbling in some shit that she shouldn't be in order to stop her brother from being with you because in in some way she loses out financially i don't know chow someone was definitely trying to confuse a man though that's all i know or confuse someone trying to bring them anxiety trying to free I, this is so annoying holy spirit holy angels can you tell me more what else is going on what else do they need to hear okay yeah, there's something here about self-reflecting. There's someone here who has been doing this, I feel like, and they're realizing how much they long for you or they miss you. It's like they keep trying to date some people that look like you, but they don't have your soul. They don't have your personality. They don't have your heart, okay? Or that ass, you know what I'm saying? I'm just joking, let me stop. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? What's going on? what else do they need to hear oh lord have mercy someone's rushing in do you see how the, all those cards fell i don't know if you saw that or not but look at this look at all look at all these cards right here child someone's rushing in someone is rushing in they're taking fast action towards you okay someone knows that you're innocent here Oh, there's something here about children child i don't know maybe someone has a child maybe somebody's pregnant maybe someone wants to get you pregnant someone definitely wants to come in and offer you something here though be your own leader discernment please someone here wants to show you respect or they want to show you some give you your flowers in some form or fashion i don't know what you should do about this i tr i have trust that you're gonna make the right decision okay holy spirit holy angels what else needs what needs to be said about this yeah okay so we got rebel rebel because fuck it you're being asked to let some shit go and just say fuck it fuck it or this person saying fuck it they want to they want to go towards you uh, maybe their family or someone was trying to blackmail someone from going towards you or they're threatening them to like not come towards you so that I don't know whatever the fuck someone's saying fuck it whatever limit that was opposed on them they said fuck it I don't care I'm going after what I desire we have you are giving away your power it says you are a badass act like it you are a badass act like it okay take your power back whoever I'm speaking to that's what you're being asked to do or this is what this person is doing flip it where it needs to go okay we have what the hell are you waiting for get that shit done what are you waiting for huh <laughs> what are you waiting for it says if you are waiting for a sign well here the fuck it is here's your fucking sign chow okay you're winning bitch you got a good thing going, so don't ruin that shit. Whoever I'm speaking to, don't ruin it. And it's time to let go of some shit that you don't need. Yeah, someone here needs to move the fuck on. If there's someone here who was, like, holding on to you or holding on to someone, they need to fucking let it go, child. Someone needs to let it go, please. I don't know. Whatever it is, child. I don't flip it where needs to be. Yeah, someone's upset because some sort of course course some sort of curse didn't work okay or something has changed course and they're upset about this someone really wanted to cause you some sort of misfortune some sort of catastrophe um and they're offended by the fact that you are protected or <laughs> or you pulled a houdini on them okay holy spirit holy angels can you tell me more what else is going on yeah you did this by loving yourself by making self uh, by making um choices and decisions that that reflect 
the love that you have for yourself okay child and it's causing your life to spiral up okay it says you are on the verge of a lucky break take risks and be on the outlook for a leg up okay tell me more spirit what else yeah someone knows something here is awkward now someone here may be having vision problems or they can't see something clearly or someone's upset they didn't see something clearly now they do because they decided to um now that they have some more time apart from you or i don't know what the heck this is child or they decided to self-reflect and now they see you for who you are okay it could be a little too late for some of y'all maybe that's how y'all feel okay i get it what else do they need to hear before we go what else do they need to hear before we got 444 it says trust in the angelic realm that you are connected to you guys can be seeing this angel number a lot we have third eye closed so yeah somebody's third eye here is closed it's for whatever they're trying to send you maybe they're trying to close your third eye or stop you from having um clarity or trying to stop you from listening to your inner wisdom or your intuition in order to make the wrong decision but or this is something they could have been doing to someone that you know what is going on with this music something going on you guys could communicate through music or something you and this person all right but there's someone here that can't see shit no more okay maybe if this was someone who was able to like remote view or astral travel into your home they're no longer allowed to do it they're blocked we have overactive throat it says steady throwing shade and having your name in their mouth so whoever was having your name in their mouth in a negative connotation they all getting their ass whooped and you don't have to lift a fucking finger. Okay? Tossed up, bitch. Ass tossed up. We got 1212. You are about to be showered with prosperity, child. With this new beginning coming in in that world card. We got mental breakdown. Someone's going to have a mental breakdown. And they're going to want you to feel guilty. It says they, they, are lo they are losing it without your energy, okay? Someone here is going to try to play victim and try to clout chase off you. We have, they will do anything to get some sort of attention. Okay. This could be even like to the point of someone faking that they have some sort of illness. Like, oh, I'm sick. <laughs> I can't. Holy spirit, holy angels. What's going on? What do they need to hear? Yeah. Whoever I'm speaking to, you're an earth angel or you're a healer or both chow. Okay. It says angels are protecting you for sure. Like I was saying. You're being protected by some powerful spiritual protectors, okay? You are an empath. Respect your, your empathic abilities at this time. Maybe you do need to go into solitude. You guys could be picking up real some negative energies from other people, okay? You could be going through another spiritual awakening. We have wake up or you're about to have um, a major download, like I was saying before. Yeah, there's, this is judgment day for your enemies. They're going to be experiencing some really big tower moments here, okay? And for some of you, you guys could be, um, you guys could have, Le, Le, oh, I can't even talk, Lemarian blood, okay? You guys could be, if you have Lemarian blood, you could be drawn to um, Mount Shasta. You could be drawn to wanting to go to Mount Shasta. That's in California, Northern California. Let's get out the shells just to see what we got going on, and then I gotta go. Alright, someone's first middle or last name could start with an A, okay? Someone's first middle or last name could start with a J. Someone's name could be AJ, okay? Someone's first middle or last name could start with a P, an N, an O. A Z, an L, an X, an R, another O. Okay, we have W, we have I, we have M, and we have B. Okay, someone's name could be Brian. Someone's name could be William or Will. Will. Someone's name could be Leah or Leia.
Someone's name could be RJ. Okay. Someone's name could be Allie. Someone's name could be Purja. 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 Someone's name could be Purnell. Okay. There's something here about a pillar of salt. Something about God. Um, why can I say the words? Sodom and Gomorrah. Something about don't don't look back or something, or someone's deciding not to look back and just continue to move forward when it comes to something. Or someone sees you as someone who is as strong as a pillar. Or you're like the um Let me see. Someone here could be hairy, okay? This could be you or somebody else, no shade. Someone here could be really hairy, I don't know. Um, someone here could have long hair. Someone here could have a beard. Or there's something here about your DNA or your hair that is very significant. Or there's something here about a spiritual pillar. Something here about... um being strengthened spiritually whoever i'm speaking to you're a bridge between heaven and earth you're at the or there's something here about being both you're someone here who both unites and divides these two realms whoever i'm speaking to you're immortal okay someone here's a fucking liar we got liar out here or maybe someone thought she was a liar someone here could have a po officer they could be getting caught up whoa no let me stop <laughs> someone here could be getting caught up by their po okay if you don't know what a PO is, um, it's a patrol officer, or parole, parole officer. Someone's name could be Joe. It's like a person that is in charge of your case and watching you if you don't fuck up or if you fuck up or not. Let me see. Um, or someone's being exposed as a liar. Someone's name could be, um, Nyla. Someone's name could be Jorge. There's something here about a job. There's also something here. Someone, some of you could be getting a new job opportunity coming up soon. Okay. Or someone wants to offer you something. Um, there's something here about a will. You're going to find out something about a will or inheritance here that could have been hidden from you. Someone here could take a lot of pills. Alright. Someone here could be from Arizona. Someone's name could be Bree. Something here about a pilot. Someone here could be, um... Pilot. Something about the first episode of something is about to begin. Some sort of new chapter. The pilot. I don't know. Something about something being polar opposites or something about magnets. Magnets, they attract something about that polar or something about the something about the Earth's polar access, accesses, okay? Someone here could be from Minnesota. Someone's name could be Jim. Jimmy, Jim, Jamal. Someone's name could be Mila or Mia. Someone's name could be Ron. 
Someone's name is Morgan. Something about a box. Something about a box. Okay. Something about borax. Pow. 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 Someone here could have a gun? I don't know. Pow. Minimum sentencing? I don't know. Someone here could be from LA or Alabama. Someone here could be a junior. We get that a lot. Something about a bow or someone has to take a bow. Someone has to bow out or someone's about to bow out of your life. Something here about boo. Maybe this is someone here who was trying to frighten you. We got boo or incite fear into you. We got boo. Okay. We also got the word boo-hoo. Somebody gonna be crying a lot. Okay. Something about a pin number. Someone could be really trying to hack into something that you have. Something about a bar could be significant. Some of you could work at a bar. Someone works at a bar. Or someone's trying to pass the bar. Or someone has raised the bar. You have raised the bar. Someone's name could be JP. Someone here is in pain. Or someone's going to act like they're in pain. We have pain here. Or someone really caused you some fucking pain. Maybe your pain tolerant your pain tolerance has reached a new bar like you're it's you could take on more shit maybe you're gonna realize this soon i don't know um someone's name could be blaine somebody got that wop <laughs> we got, we got wop out here joe someone's name could be liam I don't know your name. Someone's name could be Naomi. Someone's got their mind, their their eyes on you. We got aim. Someone has their target on you. This could be someone who also stays alone or something. I don't know. Something about the Monday, Monday, something about Monday could be significant for some of you. Someone here could be from Pennsylvania. Jeez Louise. My mouth. Okay, I'm gonna end it like this. Okay. Someone's on their way for sure. Take out one more and then I got to go. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else do they need to hear before we bounce? What do they need to hear before we bounce? All right, we have accept where you are at this moment in time. Only then can you begin to move forward. Be clear about your intention intentions. This makes us it makes it easier for us and the universe to help you. It says doors will open and unexpectedly be ready. So yeah, there's some sort of huge opportunity that's coming towards you. Be ready for it, child. This could be in the matters of love, business, career, finances, blah, 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 blah. Okay. <laughs> we have whatever you have been putting off, don't procrastinate any longer. You hear that? <laughs> it says tackle that long overdue project. You will feel better once you begin. It says start with one thing at a time. Do not get overwhelmed. Okay. It says thoughts and ideas not acted upon are just laying in wait. You can do this. You can. It's all in your head, baby. Just start doing things. Got it? Listen, this is going to be the end of your reading. Till next time, I love you. Also, Mystic Sense um, is doing a 45% off... Um, thinking of bobber it's gonna be in my description box below so you can click on it and check out that deal if you want a personal reading um i'm still accepting personal readings but at this time i'm 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 pretty booked right now okay i love you guys till next time bye